Da na 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 na. Camper confessional. Camper confessional. Welcome to Camper Confessional with James Wade, writer and author of All Things Left Wild. This is the worst debut I've ever had. <laughs> debut novel coming out June sixteenth, twenty twenty, with Blackstone Publishing. James, welcome. <laughs> To your camper. What's up? <laughs> um, round one. Let's just dive right in, right? Yeah. Paul Hendricks would like to know. Hey, Paul. Can we borrow your RV when you come back? Yes. Fill it with dogs. It's yours. Mm. Great answer. <laughs> Paul runs the uh, ATX Bully Ranch. ATX Bully Ranch. Yes. yes. So. I know it's not just bulldogs, but I'd like to say... That you love bulldogs. Mad shout out to the bulldogs of the world. <laughs> I just love me a good bulldog. <laughs> it's mainly pit bulls, but, uh, but, but Paul is not a dog discriminator. Next, right. Heather Burnett. Oh, Heather. We met her at the Ohio Club in Hot Springs, Hot Springs yeah. Arkansas. It was a good meet cute. Oh, such a good meet cute. <laughs> that story. Anyways. Another time. Anyways, Another Heather time. would like to know, how long did it take you to write a full first draft? Mm -hmm. Or did you submit a few chapters at a time, let that part evolve, and then continue with the rest? Okay. Uh, no, I wrote it all in one, in five months. Um, and I, yeah, that was it. I wrote it all at one time. I didn't have an agent or a publisher. And so agents will only take a manuscript, usually if it's uh, complete. So I had to finish her up before I sent it out. What inspired you the most during writing your story? Uh, I mean, we were on the road trip, so it was a little bit of a cheat code there. I would walk outside and there'd be a mountain or a Grand Canyon or river, something like that. Uh, so that really helped. And then I just read a lot. I think the more you read, the easier things go. I read a lot. I've read a lot and looked at a lot of cool stuff. That's a good question. Thank you, Heather. Next up, Scott <laughs> Montgomery would like to know, how do you create the world you're writing about when it's a different time period? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, Scott Montgomery is the head boss man at Mystery People, which is part of Book People, the right. very awesome uh, independent bookstore. Yes. And Scott and his crew do noir at the bar. They do a bunch of cool events. They have their own little section in uh, Book People. Yeah, that's a great question. I, I try to focus in on the... The dialogue, uh, you know, just kind of the words people use, the way people talked, uh, what the temperature, societal temperature was at the time, what were people talking about, worried about. Um, but I don't, I don't want to worry myself too much with that because I don't write like thoroughbred historical fiction. Um, it's more literary fiction that just happens to be set in the past. And then, of course, with all things left wild, we were in the Southwest and you had all this untamed landscape, which is still kind of the same and untamed. And so it helped to, to be there and to just I didn't have to create the world. It was it was right there for me. But uh, but that's a great that's a great question. OK, okay. next up is from Yon Betty. Coy Wade would like to know, are the deer still coming across the fence near the camper? Follow up question would be, how far is the nearest fishing water? Well, I did say to ask anything, and those are questions, and that was the only criteria. So, uh, <laughs> no, I, there are no deer. There's a hog problem. The hogs are coming under the fence. They're rooting everywhere. They've they've run the deer off. Uh, but uh, fishing wise, Canyon Lakes, maybe 15 minutes from here, and you could probably fish in the Blanco 10 minutes from here. Next up, Russell Allen would like to know. Can you pinpoint an early experience where you realize language has power? And if so, what was it? Or was it a gradual process? Mm. That is a that is a really good question. It, that's a better question than the answer I have, which is that it was a, a gradual process. There's not, I think I was around, like I always liked uh, words, reading and writing and books and all that. But I don't think I appreciated the power of language. It's kind of like when your parents take you on a trip to somewhere beautiful, but you just want to go to Disney World. Uh, Thanks, Russ. Next up. <laughs> Does it go by Russ? I, yeah, I think so. Okay. Thanks, Russ. <laughs> Next up. Oh, Probably Jolene. not to strangers, but <laughs> yeah. maybe. Russ, we've never met, but <laughs> your wife is really cool. So <laughs> I can only assume that you are too. Thanks, Russ. Right. Moving on. Uh, Jolene Jernigan. Hey, girl. She would like to know which author who writes about the West first captured your imagination. Which book was it? And how old were you when you read it? I don't know. Whoever wrote Pecos Bill, probably. <laughs> I was I was always fascinated with the West. I wanted to be a bull rider when I grew up. I loved cowboy stuff. Had a killer Billy Ray Cyrus uh, mullet. 
uh, when I was a little kid, but um, no, I kind of moved away from all that a little bit. And I think what brought me back was All the Pretty Horses uh, by Cormac McCarthy. And I read that when I was in middle school or high school or something. I didn't appreciate it the way that I uh, that I should have, but I reread it in 2018. Uh, I was 29 years old and I finally like just it, it, it just hooked me. Um, and I think McCarthy just writes circles around everyone else, whether it's Western literary, just anything. I mean, he's the, the best writer that's, that's ever lived. I'm a huge fanboy. Um, uh, but yeah, that's it. Okay. That's Thanks, Jolene. Of, yeah. Thanks, Jolene. <laughs> Thank you everyone who yeah. participated in round one of Camper Confessional. Camper Confessional. You sound like Tom Haverford Camper on, uh, on Parks and Rec. That's what you remind me of. If a clone. Ch -ch -ch. Baby. You smell good. That was really good. Crush that. <laughs>